Here we go, baby. One year has passed since the battle with Frieza on planet Namek. Frieza has survived and comes to Earth seeking revenge. However, a mysterious young man suddenly appears before him. And just absolutely destroys them, as we can see. <laughs> the young man then transforms into a Super Saiyan, just like Goku, and annihilates Frieza instantly. At the same time, Goku was on planet Yardrat, or Yardrat, I forget how do you say it, after his escape from planet Namek and returns to Earth. The youth tells Goku that his name is Trunks and he has come from the future. He wants, he warns that in three years, androids build, built by the Red Ribbon Army will survive. Apparently in the future, Trunks' friends have been murdered and Goku has died of a heart virus. So he has come to give Goku some medicine for his illness. After telling Goku that he will come to the aid when the androids arrive, Trunks returns to his own time. Goku is determined to fight alongside his friends to avert the coming catastrophe in their futures. Gang, Piccolo, gang. what do you say? Want to train with me and Gohan? I've been raring to fight you again. Sure, sounds good to me. Krillin, what about the rest of you guys? Thanks, but I'm going to head to Master Roshi's and train with him, actually. Oh, well, okay. Punks. Scared to train with Goku, man. I know they get that, that butt knocked out. Oh, boy. I love this music, dude. Three years pass, and the fated day of May 12th has finally come. Goku and the others gather at the time and place that Trunks gave them. They settle in into wait for the Andrew's appearance, but before they know it, they're already here. Up there, in the sky! He was attacked from above! Goku and the others couldn't even sense the androids before they started landing in the streets. Then only Goku senses that Yamcha's key is rapidly fading. They arrive to find him barely alive, having suffered a mortal blow at the hands of the androids. Goku leaves Krillin with the injured Yamcha and turns to the face to face the incoming androids. There are too many innocent people here. Let's take this somewhere else. You agree to that at least? Too many innocent people? Well, that is a problem which can be easily corrected. <laughs> what an asshole. Stop it! <laughs> you bastards! It was my understanding you wanted the streets free of onlookers. Evidently, our solution does not please you. That's it! Follow me and we're gonna settle this! Goku's pissed now, boy. Fucking with me like that. Here we go, baby. Goku leads the androids to a deserted area away from the town they were trying to destroy. Once at a safe distance from humanity, Goku questions the androids about how they know details about him and the others. As it turns out, Android 20 has been studying Goku and his friends ever since he defeated the Red Ribbon Army in order to learn how to defeat them. He informs them that over time he has analyzed and come to fully grasp the power they wield. Android 20 is confident that victory will be his, but Goku only grins in response. If all you know about me is from before I went to Namek, you're about to be in for a real shock. Whoa. That's right, y'all don't know about that, mm. do you? <laughs> you guys stay out of this. If I'm the one these guys want, then that's what they're gonna get. Ooh, boy. A most intriguing discrepancy, this dormant power. It departs rather considerably from the data previously compiled. I love how his hair is swaying, but too. it is not remotely discouraging. His strength is within manageable parameters. Android number 19 shall now operate as your executioner. Is that right? Fine. Then get over here and fight me. Finally, let's get some fighting, man. 
I gotta haven't haven't played this in a couple of days, honestly, guys. Um, so forgive me if I'm a little rusty, but you, you know how we do, boy. We get back into this. Good ass. Okay, I wanted to make sure I knew how to do that at least. Oh wow. Yeah, I wanna forget how the you grab in the game. Uh R and B and X, okay. Okay. R B and X is how you grab. I gotta remember that. No, don't conduct another test, dude. Fuck. No fair, bro. I'm, I'm, come on, man. You, I told you I'm rusty, bro. Oh, what the? F got him. We definitely got him here. Okay, we definitely did not get him. Come on, come on, come on. Let's get that spark in. Angry, come at me, uh, baby. Amazing. His strength is immeasurable. This Super Saiyan transformation put Goku on a level far beyond us all. <laughs> come on. We'll Do it. Fuck him up again. I don't know if I hit him last time. Good enough. Oh, we got him now. <laughs> now we know we got him. Saw that face he made? Oh, that. Oh, shit. Now I'm mad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> got fucked up again, bitch. You fucked up again. Ah, uh, we ain't doing that. Stupid ass. Oh, look at his head, bro. His head is exposed. His brain is exposed, bro. Look at his fucking head, bro. You are a fool. Bro, I'm wrestling and I just destroyed you like no other enemy I have in this game. You got done worse than Nappa. Oh my god. Let's go, dude. What the hell? Oh, that's right. Okay, remember, this is strictly Goku's story, so we it's, we're literally, like, in his shoes the whole time. Goku loses consciousness after his battle with the androids. Once he's, once he's been given the medicine, okay, we know during that time, Android 16, 17, 18, Awaken, and make matters worse, a creature named Cell has appeared, seeking the ultimate power. It is through absorbing Android 17 and 18 that Cell plans to attain this perfect form. Now aware of his new foes, Goku enters the hyperbolic time chamber so he can complete a year of training in just a single day. If I want any chance of winning battles to come, then I need to train hard enough to find a level beyond Super Saiyan. Goku explains uh, his training plan to Trunks and Vegeta, and the two of them enter the chamber first. The day passes, but then Goku senses an impending battle. It started. Piccolo's getting ready to fight. Yep. Yeah, but who? Do you think it's Cell? No. Whoever it is, I can't sense their energy, so it's got to be one of the other androids. Stop, Gohan. We can't help it. We're nowhere near their level right now. All we do is slow Piccolo down. Uh, huh? Dad, that energy! It, it's gotta be Cell! He's on the move! I wonder if we still get to play as Gohan, though. Go and help, wait for Vegeta and Trunk. You know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna do... I'm gonna... Cause I, I stay, suck with the story with the Raditz the thing, so... I might be able to get Piccolo out of there! We're gonna fuck hey, around Dad, and find out this time. 
Fuck it, man. I'm not gonna keep everything the same. It's just gonna make the story, you know, not boring, but you know. Goku and his friends sense that Cell is approaching Piccolo's location. Senses Piccolo's location and uses <laughs> instant transmission to hurry to Piccolo's side. Uh, just as they arrive, however, Piccolo is attacked and mortally wounded by Cell. Seeing their friend hurt, Goku and Gohan fly into a rage that marks the beginning of their battle with Cell. All right, let's see what goes on, bro. Mr. Piccolo, he—he's. Oh no! I wonder if Gohan will. Stay calm, Gohan. Right, Try to sense see. his energy signal. You're right. I can still feel it. Mr. Piccolo is alive. I'm, I'm speaking all the possibilities in my head out Help loud. I'll some shut time. up. While I do, you rescue Piccolo and hurry back here. But be careful. Uh, okay. You're Goku, aren't you? That's funny. How did you get here all of a sudden? I hadn't felt the faintest trace of your energy. That's for me to know. And you to find out. How did I tell you, you bug? Hilarious. Well, finding out isn't exactly high on my to-do list. It hardly matters anyway, since you'll soon be more bio-extract for me to drink up. Go ahead and try me then, Cell. Disgusting. Fuck. Hey, you're in your first form, bro. I think I'm scared of you. Out of my way, Goku. This freak is mine to deal with, not yours. Shut up, man. You already know what happens when you try to deal with it. I don't know why I did that. Oh, I got him before he got it off, though. Perfect. Oh, you mad, bro? I'm here, Goku. Let me back you up. Thank you, Tien. You fool. I'm not done yet. Goku, killing you will have to wait. I cannot allow number 17 to be absorbed. 16? You're actually gonna fight too? By my calculations, Cell and I are approximately equal in power. You What? You at, bro? Come on. Where is he? Fuck around and find out. Let's get out of that water. Got you, bitch. <laughs> oh, you're done, bro. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. No, it's my purpose to achieve perfection. I didn't even get to hit him with like an ultimate, really. Well, we did it in the beginning, I think. But that's about it. All right, Goku and his friends have successfully defeated Cell, but now the androids stand before them. Since their common enemy has, has done away with the androids, with the androids return to their... No, 
Since their common enemy has been done away with, the androids return to their original objective and they are trying to kill Goku. Oh, thanks a lot, guys. However, the androids have suffered damage from the battle. What's so? Listen, your bodies are way too injured to be fighting right now. I'm not going anywhere. So why don't you rest up and we can do this another time? The hell are you talking about? These little scrapes are nothing. We could still take you easy. Hmm. Yeah, don't throw me any sympathy. I haven't had a scratch. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> well, not naming numbers, but one of us was hogging all the action and ended up with a couple boo-boos. So step aside and let a lady stretch her legs. Her forehead is big as shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. You got any problems with that, 16? Negative. Good. Glad we're on the same page. Oh, great. Tianchen Han, would you let me take this one on my own? Of course. Just be careful, Goku. I ain't worried about her ass. Come on. Quit running! <laughs> hey, I don't give a crap. Go ahead. You can both attack at the same time. It's no skin off my back. No way! You being as strong as you are is actually why I want to fight you one on one! I want to test out if my current skill level matches up with yours. That's all. <laughs> Don't start getting ahead of yourself. We're settling this right here and now! Hey, don't get ahead of yourself. I gotta get the hang of this right here. Come on. Bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. Nice try. Oh, I had it right there. You're playing games. You're playing games, hero. Come on. Fuck around. Fuck around and come here. I dare you. Fucking around. Oh, you got lucky right there. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Gotcha. What the fuck? Stuck, you stuck. Ah, I don't know if I got him. Oh, I missed. Oh, I did. I got a beta, dude. He's shifty. I'll give her that. Get down there. I think I got her now. You Gotta be shitting me. Nice try. Yeah. I'm not done yet. He is a tricky one. Get ready to see my real strength. There we go. There we go, there we go. Come on, you wanna get another one? Come on, girl. I'm, I'm gonna get these out all day. Come on. Bait, bait. Easy. Easy work. 
Easy work. Come on, girl. I thought you were smarter than that. Boy, Android. She made me work for it, though. It's like she really didn't want to fight. Today. She really did not, like, want to fight me, dude. She really didn't. She was trying to, like, stay back. And I don't really know what she was doing. She didn't do any attacks except for in the beginning. So. Yeah, what's up now? <laughs> Though inferior in power, Goku taunts Android 18, all while remaining perfectly calm. That allows him to gain the advantage in, the, in their fight. Android 18 super realizes she is losing and decides to abandon her fight with Goku. Run along now, child. Ugh, that's enough. Now my clothes are all dirty. Wait, you're done? That was so quick. Untouchable as I am, I don't get that much of a kick out of fighting. Had enough time to lick your wounds? <laughs> you know androids don't run out of energy like that. I swear, you're the naggiest sibling in the world. They're putting up a much better fight now. Must have really got their head back in the game. Maybe from watching me against 18. Damn, bro, can Goku get a Gotta break? Gotta say, Goku, you're as impressive a martial artist as the doctor said. That, and you're not nearly as annoying as that hothead, Vegeta. <laughs> you kept your cool throughout that whole fight with 18, too. Making an android with unlimited energy sweat is quite an accomplishment. I've never had more fun. Could this be a, a friendly competition? Yeah, he's definitely going to be more aggressive. As expected. Bro, get the fuck up. What are you doing? What are you planning, bro? <laughs> get up, bro. What you playing? Say nap time? Thought he was bugged out or something. Time to finish this. Uh -oh. Oh, that little weak attack he does, really? Don't play yourself. Oh, again. Mmm, let's go! Let's go! Uh-uh, get back here. Oh, I didn't see you. Oh my god, dude. This is short of that. Guard down for a second, but you're something else. Go, bro. I can go. Realizing he can't defeat Goku, he can't defeat me. Android 17 lowers his guard, however, his expression seems somewhat pleased. Android 17, who has searched for Goku as if. It were a game. Feels like he has had enough fun with, with this fight. I think I'm a little burnt out on all the fighting today. Let's get out of here. Those are Android 17's words to Android 16 and 18. Okay. Android 16 ga 16's gaze remains dis displeased as Go as he stares down at Goku. You want some too, motherfucker? Come What's on. the deal? We going or what? Got a problem, bro? <laughs> Look at this guy. Cheap shot. What? Cheap shot ass. 16. What got into you all of a sudden? You look pissed. My mission 
is to kill Goku. And I intend to accomplish it. This guy. Dude, chill. <laughs> I will end your existence, for it is the only purpose of my existence. Everyone and everything else is secondary. Oh, bring it on. <clears throat> I ain't scared of you. Then it's now or never. I know he wanted some too. It's okay. We, we, we had now cancer. Oh, fuck. Cans are whoop ass today, bro. All day long, baby. Can I transform or. I don't think I can. I don't think I have another energy. I gotta fight him in base, which is fine. I got the spirit bomb. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna really beat this guy in uh, straight up hand to hand. Wasting my fucking sparkling, bitch. Disengaging limiter. Your energy oh, with me. For a spirit bomb. Mother. Are you fucking kidding me? I must use my last resort. What? Seventeen. And 18. What the fuck? Well. Oh, that was supposed to happen. Or not. I'm not gonna be done this time. Fuck it, you wanna lay there? Lay there, bro. I ain't going in that water. This this will wake your ass up. Get up. This is gonna wake your ass up. Or not. What the fuck? You're still too far away. Okay, what is with this glitch? But they're like. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Your energy with me. For a spirit bomb. Come on, please hit him. Yes, got him. Damn, we didn't even do that much damage though. Yeah, I'm not. I agree. Here we go. How you wanna go out, bro? Ah, uh, I shouldn't have did that. Oh, good. You're done. Either way, you're done. Good night, buddy. Good fucking night. 
asshole. It all comes down to this. It sure does. Yeah, fuck with Goku, bro. Don't you dare, 16. I'm not letting you blow yourself up. Don't tell me. You have a self-destruct device inside of you as well? I... I told you both before. My sole mission is to kill Goku at any cost. Then why haven't you already? You could wipe this entire island off the map with that explosion. <clears throat> That's enough! You can't beat me in the state you're in now. <laughs> and besides, you don't really seem like a bad guy. Even if you're technically a robot, I could feel your intent to kill. But if it really is your mission, why didn't you go for it during the fight with Cell? Instead, you chose to defend your fellow androids, which means... It's simple. There is much wildlife living all around this island. <laughs> this I did goes. not want to obstruct nature with the fallout of our battles. But hear me, Goku. One day I will fulfill my purpose. Oh, you need to relax. You took care not to harm any innocent life, animal nor human. I believe you are both good people. I have enjoyed traveling together. Well, who says we can't still keep doing it? Then you know what? Let's have our first stop by the mall. I'm in desperate need of some new, less filthy clothes. <laughs> It looks like the battle is over. <laughs> yep. Goku! Where's Cell? And the androids! And, uh, uh, 18! You, uh, you didn't defeat them all already, <laughs> did you? <laughs> well, I think they'll be back. Huh? <laughs> In the wake of Cell's defeat, the three androids depart. Peace is once again restored. Thanks to Goku and his friends. Someday, these powerful artificial humans may show their faces again. But when, whatever the outcome, right. Goku is sure to be stronger than ever and ready to defend the world. Why don't they just have this guy narrating those cutscene scenes instead of me talking? That would be ex excellent. Wow, that was a very different take on that. Changing the future. So, I guess Gohan didn't become a Super Saiyan or Super Saiyan 2, obviously. It's pretty much like the same as uh, Trunks' timeline. Where he defeated Cell before he could even get to his uh, semi perfect or second form. Very interesting take, man. Very interesting. I'd love to know what you guys think about it. Obviously, I think it would have been obviously cooler as far as the story goes to get the Cell fight, but I'm, I do not regret the decision to at least see what would happen when we went with this. So I hope that you guys did enjoy this episode of. Uh, Dragon Ball Spark and Zero, the end, joy, slash, cell saga. If you want to see more, just be sure to drop it a like, guys. I would immensely appreciate it. But as always, I thank you guys for watching, and I hope to catch you on the next one. Until then, peace. I'll catch you. Have a great one.